Anybody here see the Democrat convention? I did. Thought it was pretty good, too. At first, you had all these working people talking about their problems. You had all these big shot Democrats talking about solving the problems. Oh, that was good. But then I got to thinking, all these pretty things they talk about how they're going to be doing has got no connection to what they have been doing. I look at it this way. I figure America is, is like one big community with all the Democrats living in one house right next door to them mean Republican boys. Oh, they're a nasty bunch. They go around telling other people how to live their lives. They take your money and don't give you nothing in return. They lie, they torture, they steal elections, and they go around picking a fight every chance they get. Oh, they're no good. Oh, what a sorry bunch of men. They're mostly men. Every once in a while, they'll stick a woman in the front window just for show. But by and large, they're a bunch of old farts and frat boys. But now the Democrats, they figure these Republican boys, they're just so mean that they'll just blame everything that goes wrong on them. So the Democrats are saying, oh, it's so terrible, all our jobs are leaving the country. Oh, and that NAFTA, we gotta fix it. But NAFTA, that's old man Clinton's baby. And that old lady Clinton, she's saying, oh, we gotta have health care reform. But she's the one screwing it up in the first place, primping up for her rich friends in the HMOs. Then right across the street from the Democrat house, she got the Pelosi mansion. And it's nothing but a safe house for criminals. All the thugs in the neighborhood, they come around, they ring the doorbell. And then Lady Pelosi, she comes down dressed in her finery and she opens the door. Hey, y'all criminals, come right in. You got nothing to worry about from me. But of course, the big talk these days over at the Democrat house is about their genius kid. What's his name? Obama. Oh, and he's a smart one, all right. Gets straight A's in school. Gets his picture in the school paper most every week. And he's always, oh, with the good people, with the teachers, the janitors, the cooks in the kitchen. Oh, the honest, hard-working people. Trouble is, once school's out, he don't have nothing to do with them. He pals around with the juvenile delinquents. Like that Brzezinski brat. And that Madeline Albright, oh, she's a terror. And they're all the time putting him up to no good, whispering things in his ear. Just the other day, they sent him down to the Iraq bar. And he goes in, he says, hey, y'all, let's get out of here. And let's all go down to Afghanistan town and start throwing rocks. Well, all the Democrats, they follow him down to Afghanistan town. More rocks, more rocks. But as soon as they get there, the press shows up. And the press goes, Obama, you're acting like one of these Republican boys. And Obama, he says, well, the Republican boys, they're, they're not all that bad. In fact, I like a lot of the things they do. Well, the Democrats, the ones that hadn't fell down with a heart attack, they're scratching their heads, but then all of a sudden they realize, well, he's one of us, so they start clapping and cheering. But they need to keep in mind that Obama, he's running for class president. And I hope he wins, too. I do. But somebody needs to tell him that unless he quits his backsliding, unless he quits spending every night down in the brothels on Wall Street, unless he gets shut of his no good friends and stands up to the Republican boys, then he's gonna 